So we are in Apache, uh, not Apache Junction, but an Apache uh, reservation here in Arizona. Where uh, there's like a casino and a hotel and um, some really cool photos of Geronimo. Like actual photos of the dude from 1874 with like a gun in his belt and stuff. Um, Geronimo, um, you know, I don't think Pablo even knew who Geronimo was. But he used to do these jumps off of the... Um, play structure at Silver Lake Park. He would jump off the, the highest point he could into the sand. And then he would go on this wall, um, this wall that serves as the railing for the stairs that go down into the park. And he would jump off the railing um, into the grass. And so um, at some point, one of us started screaming Geronimo when he jumped. I guess it was me because it was probably a cliche from when I was a kid. That went right along with like sitting Indian style and all these other horrible um, cliches that we were taught as kids, um, along with these myths that the Indians gave us their land and all this stuff. So uh, I, I suppose either Joanne or I started the Geronimo thing, and it was really great fun. Um, and we all know that we've kept that tradition going by jumping off the wall at Forest Lawn Cemetery, the wall that's right next to Pablo's grave that we chose the space there in part for its proximity um, to the wall. And that's, that's a true story. Um, it's a true story. Um, so we rode very hard today, 105 miles, crazy, crazy headwinds um, for the last 20 miles. You know, headwinds when you're like in New York or Los Angeles or Chicago, yeah, we think they're really bad and sometimes they are. But when you're on like a 15 pound carbon fiber bike and you're holding on and there's a and you're in the desert and there's absolutely nothing to block the wind and then a semi comes by going either your way or the other way man I mean you're you're riding and then all of a sudden you're like this I'm not exaggerating at all it's pretty insane um so we had a great day today we are all very tired we all ate very well at dinner. We're excited to have uh, two two guests join us here at the hotel tomorrow morning. Uh, Rick from Phoenix and Adam from Phoenix. Adam's son is seven and he is a cancer patient at Phoenix Children's Hospital. And uh, we, we met him through through uh, Pablo of Across America Action. Somebody emailed him. He's a cyclist. Uh, so, so I'm really excited to meet him. It's, uh, he sounds uh, a lot like me, like he's... Um, you know, riding when he can in between his son's cancer treatment. He's got a family. He's got a career. You know, all this stuff is going on. Obviously, he has a family, you know. Um, but but I'm really excited to, uh, to, to meet Adam. He went around the hospital two or three days ago with flyers for our Pavlov party on Saturday at the hospital to, to promote it to get as many people as possible to come down. So we'll fill you in on that in, in tomorrow morning's dedication. Um, Tonight's, tonight's dedication is um, for a little girl um, named Tuesday Witt. She was two years old when she lost her battle with neuroblastoma. Um, she was a twin. And um, I, I don't know where the family lives. And uh, I, this is a dedication request that we got from a, from a Pavlov supporter named Samantha Blair. She found this family's blog, like many people have found our blog, um, and she uh, hadn't heard us dedicate to Tuesday, and she emailed us all the information. Uh, I've checked out the family's blog, and um, uh, the mother is uh, a photographer, a really, really great photographer, and it seems like um, um, Tuesday's mom and dad blog at least as much as I do. In fact, they might blog more than I do. And I started um, looking through their blog and, and, and then through uh, mom's photography site, and it's it's incredible. Um, I believe that they have uh, started a foundation called What You're Gonna Do. I will put all this in the text um, profile for this post. Uh, I'm looking at a photo. Um, they took an RV and went around the country, uh, all over the place. Uh, Wyoming, Idaho, Oregon, Montana, South Dakota, Minnesota, made it all the way to New Jersey, North Carolina, and D.C., and New York City. 
And on the side of their RV, it says what you're going to do.org. And then on, on the side of that, it says kids get cancer too, which is something that I like to say, even though it's not our official um, plug line. <clears throat> I'm glad to see that it's theirs, and, I'm, and I'm, I'll keep saying it. Um, and now that I know that, that that's their line, I'll keep referring back to them. Um, Tuesday passed away in, in, in January. And uh, you know, I'm looking at their blog right here on the screen. And in the top <clears throat> of the right-hand column, it's uh, the definition for the word bereave is, uh, is listed. And beneath that, there's a personal message from the family. And I want to... I want to read this because um, this is something that that our family um, holds very dearly, and and it's something that we said at both the memorial and and uh, Popple's funeral. It says on their website, it says it's okay to reach out to us. You are not bothering us. It's okay if you can't. If you don't know what to say, I'm so sorry you lost Tuesday with or without a hug. Is all we need. It's okay if you say something and I start to cry. You didn't cause it. Death caused it. You didn't remind me of her death because not a second goes by that I am not thinking of her. Um, I'll leave the rest to you to read and I'll, I'll put uh, this URL into the post here so you can click on it. Um, I'm really uh, happy to see that our friend Adam, another cancer dad who's a cyclist, uh, like our friend Ken Avery from F Fort Worth, Texas, is coming to join us in the morning. That's a nice connection out here. Um, this blog, uh, which feels very similar to the Pa blog uh, that, that I just discovered um, through a friend of Pa blog, makes me also feel very comforted and, and very at home uh, in our final stretch. I mean, once we hit Phoenix, uh, we've got seven days left, dudes. So... Uh, we are home a week from this Saturday. We have um, a couple things going on on Saturday. We've got um, our homecoming ride, which we welcome anybody to pass the word on. Uh, grab the information off the Pablo Foundation Facebook page. Grab it off pablo.org. Whatever you want to do, uh, pass it around. There's no invitation needed. You don't have to sign up. Just show up. We're starting at Long Beach Aquarium at 6.30 a.m. on Saturday. There will be a second pickup at Velo Pasadena, uh, in, obviously uh, in Pasadena on East Colorado Boulevard. Then we will roll into the city. We're going to swing by Dangerbird Records. We're not stopping there. We're just going to roll by the Pavlov mural that's on Sunset Boulevard. We're going to swing by Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Again, we're not going to stop there. We're going to keep rolling. We're going to zip down Los Feliz Boulevard into Griffith Park. We're going to go to Pablo's grave at Forest Lawn, Hollywood Hills. Um, I'm going to uh, go and uh, bring some things to Pablo's grave, and all are welcome to ride all the way up there and walk all the way up to Pablo's grave. This is about energy. The more people we have, the better. Then we'll take the short uh, mile and a half or mile ride to Shane's Inspiration, the, uh, the playground in the middle of Griffith Park, um, where we're going to have our, our end celebration. If you are not a rider or you want to bring your family, um, um, whether you know us or don't know us, whatever, you're welcome to come to Shane's Inspiration. That's the final um, party spot. And then, of course, uh, Saturday night we have our big uh, Pob Love Across America Homecoming Benefit Concert at the Avalon. Um, a ton of amazing bands are playing. Black Rebel Motorcycle Club are playing. Shirley Manson. Charlotte Martin, um, Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine is doing a set of his uh, songs uh, from, from his uh, Night Watchman project. Uh, the headliners are Band of Horses. Um, we've got Tom Gable from Against Me. Uh, Jared Gorbel is, is playing. And last but not least in my heart is Josh Rifkin from Songs for Kids Foundation is going to be literally walking around like a strolling minstrel and playing kids' songs and all kinds of stuff to keep the uh, childlike energy in the room. Okay, see you in the morning.